Because punching a cactus doesn't hurt your fists. No, I, I've done it before. Trust me, I'm I'm an expert in this matter. Um. Ow! What? Cactus! I'm gonna punch you with my fists. I think I should make a skin where there is just ketchup all over my hands. I have been. I I live in America. There's obviously ketchup all over my hands. P.S. I don't even like ketchup that much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, the ketchup is good on some things, it's just, it, it, it's too vinegary. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've uttered something that cannot be unuttered. Unuttered. That, uh, I, I'm stopping this sentence now, it's just getting too weird. Ow! Stop it, Cactus! I have three hearts! This is not the time! I don't even know how to get more hearts! This is horrible! This is awful! Alright. So, let's go and uh, pick up our completed bricks. Brick. 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 Unfortunately, they only dry in the sun. So there's no point of thinking they're gonna grow right now. So, let's go down into our little hidey hole. Or hobo hut, as it's been called. We need some light in here. Jeez. Well, it is a hobo hut. Let's see how much vis we can get for cactus. None! As you see, they're slowly boiling away. And it did barely anything. Uh, let's try a wooden plank. Nothing. So apparently sandstone actually gives you more beast than most other resources. Huh. That's interesting. Dig out this part of the house so it looks even. There, there we go. And let's throw ourselves some cobble in there. Huh. All right. So it's been a pretty good day and night. Nothing dramatic. Just making some mud brick, boiling some things into vis which I can't use. You know. Alright, so let's see what happens if we throw something more valuable in there. Like a piece of two, let's throw two pieces of redstone in there. Now this might actually do something. It, it slightly raised it. But what about throwing a, an entire Vs crystal? Now this actually, if I remember, will produce pure Vs. It won't produce any taint because throwing blocks in there Blocks are made of both taint and vis because vis is the life energy of the world and taint is basically, I don't know, I guess it's uh, sin or something to use a biblical term. And boom, we got some vis. So yeah, taint, bad, vis, good, yay. And now my chest full of things that are not, are supposed to be organized that are not looks horrible. Alright, that's always good. Um, let's see. Let's go kill some mobs, alright? Let's grab ourselves a piece of bread. And let's kill ourselves, kill ourselves, some mobs. I, I really should complete my sentences sometimes. Um, bam. Uh, da da da. Any mobs? Hello? Anything that wants to murder my face? Oh, ooh, a creeper! Oh, it's a puppy! Uh, hello, creeper. No, don't you dare die on me, Bob. I will kill you if you die. Alright, so. We got score 15. We can level ourselves up, maybe? Maybe? No, I don't think we're leveled yet. So the longer you survive, the more hearts you get, because you get experience, so you level up. But the more you die, of course, you lose every all of your experience. So the only way to get a permanent bonus from your XP is to store it in your soul sword. Note that you cannot take it out once it's in your soul sword. It's like a Horcrux. You're Voldemort. Just just telling you now, you're Voldemort. There, there's no escaping it. No, you're Voldemort. You're, you're gonna have to come to terms with this. Wow, we got a pocket of three. That's nice. But they seem... Are they taint? No, they're even Vs. Awesome. So let's see if we can find ourselves by the sound of it. 
Yes! Ah, we found the dungeon again. Yay! Hello. Alright. So this seems to be a super dungeon. And this seems to be a very, very bad idea. Um... Let's kill ourselves some zombies. Yeah! Zombies killing. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey, you can't get to me. Ha 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 ha. Hello? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Come to me, experience. My life has in... Oh, yay! We leveled up, guys. We did it. We did! Hello. Uh... So. Let us level up our sword. Alright. So. You need three levels, unfortunately. Some Once you get it up a bit. Now, we have critical, which increases your chances of a critical strike. Hardness, which I have no idea what that does. And knockback. Um, I'm gonna up the knockback. So now we knock mobs back a little farther. Though we still don't do as much damage as possible. Uh, Alright. We're doing this the little kind of wuss way, but that's alright. It's okay with me. Um, because I never, ever... Ooh. Oh, right. You have to break the spawners in here to get to that, unless you want to break the chest. <clears throat> I'm trying to get up there so I can fight you. Jeez. So inconsiderate. Alright, after we light this up, I gotta end the video off, guys. An Enderman spawner? Jeez, what kind of place is this? This is scary! This is scary! Huh. An Enderman spawner, though. That is nice, guys. Jeez. What did it just spawn? Tons and tons of zombies. We got a clock, a saddle, and a quiver, though. That's always good. Come on, zombies, come at me! I got my soul sword. Yes. Come on, come at me, bro. Come on. You you think you got me? No, I got your shovel now, man. What you gonna do about that? Huh? Huh? Hello. You wanna fight? No, you don't. You're a Zambi. Oh, hi. Alright. Nobody can say I'm not too great at PvP. Well, PvE. I'm actually sort of okay at it when I'm actually trying to survive. Hello, come on, come here. Oh, good, I just broke a torch. That's never how. <laughs> uh, I forgot there was a pillar there. Luckily, their AI is gonna funnel them right to me. Now, let's make sure that happens if we wanna come back over here. It just makes it a little less dangerous. Hi, Enderman, I am not touching you with a 10-foot pole. That sounds kind of odd. Alright, hello, Zambi. Murder- ow. No. 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 No, that is not happening today. No. I'm gonna eat your- your- your flesh, Zombie. I'm going to eat your flesh. I hope you realize the gravity of this situation. I'm going to eat your flesh. To stay alive. You see me? I'm eating your friend's flesh, friend. How does that make you feel? So let's dig ourselves a little hidey hole. So it seems that this expanse is what I was seeing from all of the red dots. And maybe what was lagging me too. It seems we're in quite a little... We're in quite a pickle. I think they're growing pickles down here. Because pickles grow on trees, naturally. Um... <sighs> Jeez. Alright, we do have five hearts, though. That's a lot better. I don't know how much attack down just does compared to the soul sword. Eh. Come here! It is a big sword, though, so it has a lot more knockback. Shovels! Shovels for days! 
Oh, hi. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Nope, you're a jerk. Oh. I was trying to go light that up so you guys would stop spawning so I, I would stop having to murder your faces. Alright. Okay. We good? We clear? More of this stuff. Another saddle. Some wheat. Yeah, I know I'm breaking the spawners, but we, we got we got spawners for days, so. Uh, let's break an extra tunnel in here. And uh, break this. Because we're fairly safe right now. Whoa! Jeez! No! No, no. No, 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 no. I think this is the time to end it off, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, well, I remained calm. I did. I, I did this like a boss. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This has been Yogbox Episode 5. Thanks for watching. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha, half a heart. I love it.